when you are under God's line, whatsoever you do, you prosper. Champion Ways Chapel presents Power Zone TV. With Dr. Sam Owusu, the presiding bishop of Champion Ways Ministries. And the president of Covenant Mission Bible College, which has trained over 7,000 pastors and prophets. Dr. Sam Owusu is an uncompromising prophetic and apostolic Holy Ghost revival preacher. As you watch this program, you will experience the supernatural revelations, insights to recharge your spirit for revolution. Keep watching same station, same time, this and every 5.30 a.m. with Dr. Sam Owusu. Experience the power, the fire, the glory. Change is coming. Telephone 0246 721283. That number again is 0246 721283. Champion Ways is always a life changing experience. Hello, my friend. I'm so excited again to have you this morning. God bless you for being watching me every day. This powers on TV with Bishop Sam Owusu. I'm so excited to have you today. The word of God is coming with power and with authority like never before. I will take you to the church, and the word of God will come to you. It will bring healing to you. It will bring restoration, joy, inspiration, and revelation that will cause you to revolute. It could cause you to move on in destiny. This is powers on TV. Welcome. God bless you as you watch. I'll be right back. Thank you. Somebody say, God handle the devil. I want to handle poverty. Go handle the witches. I want to handle sickness in my house. No more disappointment. No more poverty. In the next 20 years, the generation ahead of me, all the children coming, I shall live in heaven. The Bible says the righteous man live an inheritance for his children. children. God is on your side. Service is on your side. Glory is on your side. Power is on your side. Joy is on your side. We don't serve a king. We serve a living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And the same forever. So much of fire. Fire. We be may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. What the Lord has prepared for you, I has not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered to the heart. The thing that God has prepared for them that love Him, but He has revealed them unto us by the Spirit. For the Spirit certain all things, near the deep things of God. How do we understand the things of the Spirit? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the the word was God. There was nothing that was made without the word. And everything that was made was made by the word. The word is the life. The life is the light. The light shines in darkness. And there was not comprehended. Darkness cannot comprehend it. There was a man sent from heaven. His name is called John. To be a witness to the light. He was not the light. But he is the light. But to them that believe, he gave them power to become. God, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. I am the tree of life. I am the drum of joy. The leaves of the valley. I am the apple of your eye. I will save you. I will protect you. When you go to fire, I shall be with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every word that shall rise against you shall be condemned. I am the same yesterday. The same today. I'm the same forever. You are coming out as an agent of God. You are coming out as a messenger of God. To change the society. To change our families. To change the nation. To change the revelation. Shout yes. I prophesy. God will help you. Favor will help you. No weapon. Form against you. Shall prosper. When God set you up, no man can set you down. When God bless you, no man can kill you. Genesis chapter number 19. 
Genesis chapter number 19. Genesis chapter number 19. Wow. My message is entitled, When You Leave, Don't Look Back. When you leave here, don't look back. When you break through, don't look back. When God take you out, don't look back. Hallelujah. So take your Bible with me. Let's go to the word of God. Genesis chapter number 19, verse number 17. Hmm. We will take our main course from the verse number 17, but let's pick it from verse number 9 so that we will understand what God won't give to us. Verse number 9, Genesis chapter number 19, verse number 9. And they said, stand back, and they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and we will need to be a judge. Now we will deal worse with thee than with them. Mm. verse 10 but the man put forth their hands and pulled lot into the house to them and shut to the door and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with brightness both small and great hallelujah mm, let's go back small to verse 4 but before they lay down the man, I don't want to read the whole scripture but I think it's better for us to read the whole scripture so that we understand. Let's start from the verse 1. Verse 1. But there came two angels to Sodom at even and sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lord, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now my Lord, turn in, I pray with you, into your servant house. And tally all night and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Verse 3. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in into him and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake on living bread, and they did eat. But before they laid down, the man of the city, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house run about, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lord and said unto Lord, unto him, Where are the men which come into this night? Bring out unto us that we may know them. And Lord went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not no man. Let me, I pray you, that bring them out unto you and do you to them as good in your eyes. Only unto those Unto these men do nothing. For therefore come they under the shadows of my roof. And they said, stand back. Uh, Lord, we don't want to hear you. Stand back. And they said again, this is one fellow came in to join. And he will need to be a judge. And now we will deal worse with they than them. And they pressed so upon the men. And even Lot came near to break the door. So, but the men put forward their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they were willing themselves to find the door. Verse number 12. And the man said unto Lot, Hast thou here any beside, son in law, and thy sons? Watch this. Son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city. Bring them out of this place. Verse number 13. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is washing great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And the Lord went out and spoke unto his sons-in-law which married his daughters and said... 
up, get you out of this place. For the Lord will destroy the city, but they seems as one that mock unto the sons in law. And when the morning arose, then the angel hastened Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, while he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hands of his two daughters. Then the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him at head and set him without the city and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said escape for thy life look not behind thee neither stay thou in all the plain escape to the mountain lest thou be consumed let's read the verse 17 again and it came to pass read after me and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said to them escape for thy life look not behind thee neither stay thou in all the plain escape to the mountain lest thou be consumed when you leave don't look back everybody shout when you leave don't look back mm, you get a shout it better like your kin tell somebody when you leave don't look back when you escape don't look back when you break through don't look back when god bless you don't look back again when you become a minister, don't look back. Oh, stretch your hands and tell your neighbor, when God helps you, don't look back. Uh, uh, tell somebody, when you break through, don't look back. Uh, fire is still there. Uh, trouble is still there. The devil is still there. Your problem is still there. When you break through, don't come back don't look back lift up your hand and shout i am not going back there uh, somebody shout i am not going back to the devil uh, i am not going back to poverty i am not going back to sickness i am not going back to trouble i am not going back to the world uh, uh, i'm not going back to be a slave i am not going back to be a beggar i am not going back and tell yourself when i leave I am not coming back. <laughs> oh, praise God, somebody. Close your eyes. Let's have some church. Father, Lord, we thank you today, this morning, for your word is sure, and you are able to do above exceedingly what we ask and think. And this morning, I pray that you will give us utterance, and you give us revelation, uh, that everyone that have come here shall receive from you what you have designed for our life. Let the church shout, Amen. Uh, have your seat, and give somebody high five. Said, you are going, and don't turn back. Uh, uh, tell somebody where you are going don't turn back uh, if only it is God don't turn back if only God have uh, help you don't go back uh, ladies and gentlemen this is a story about this man called Lot uh, Lord have his family and then something awesome happened before lord one day but before the story begins a lot it has already come to the place and the man called abraham everybody shout abraham uh one day the bible says abraham was in his pillow and he was uh, he was enjoying himself trying to figure out the personality of god and how goodness god is and how god have bring him out of the misery but he 
you still have an issue with God because God have not answered all the prayer of Abraham and sometimes it is a problem of you and I everybody here has one problem God have not answered uh, some of you all your children are doing better but one of them is too ugly one of them is too stubborn one of them is too not having the key to knowledge uh, am I talking to somebody here sometimes you go to church and then yeah there is one problem that amazes you one problem that figures you and brings you down that amazes your understanding into the things of the spirit ladies and gentlemen Abraham was just thinking and then the Bible says a wife called Sarah was in the kitchen preparing food ladies and gentlemen and the Bible says God had an agenda that he has seen and he has heard that there is a certain city called Sodom and Gomorrah uh, ladies and gentlemen that city I've seen before God and that city God I've seen the pain he has seen the insult God I've seen the troubles that Sodom and Gomorrah is causing him now God have seen the rejection of his word and the blessing that you want to bless them God want to bless the city but the city doesn't want to be blessed uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen God want to change but they were not ready for the change of God uh, so the Bible says God sent three angels uh, to go to Sodom and Gomorrah to go and announce the judgment of God to the city and tell them this is what I'm about to do I'm about out to destroy ladies and gentlemen when there is a prophet in town and the prophet is not accepted by the people the people be began to experience chaos and there is chaos in the town there is chaos in everywhere there is poverty in the town and that's what we, some of us are experiencing today in Ghana ladies and gentlemen we are in a situation where there are no prophet of the nations anymore there are no pastors of the world of the nation anymore there are no people to instruct and then we think that every pastor is not of God and we, we think that every man of God that is performing miracle is not God and then it just becomes so kind of amazing destructive by the devil and the enemy is using that to distract the body of God so sometimes one and some of you are going to church you are reluctant to the acceptance of the word of God some of you you are, you, you, you are just having some kind of consciousness you doubt everybody but you see before you doubt somebody have you doubt yourself because if you doubt somebody it means you doubt yourself am I talking to somebody if somebody is not of God then what about you because the day you were born again nobody knows you were born again it was only you who came to tell us you were born again am I talking to somebody here ladies and gentlemen you can't judge somebody and the Bible says the Lord was in the city and because he didn't respect Lord. Uh, the city had been chaos and God want to punish the city. God was angry with the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because there was a man there in the city but they don't love the man and they don't respect the man. So when God wanted to go to the city, God said no, I know somebody who have a relationship with me. But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that in this life, uh, when we are saying, when everybody is pulling up to the devil, there are still some people who God loves uh, and there are some still people who still submit to God. Uh, am I talking to somebody here? Uh, sometimes some of you will say that oh there is no Christian in this nation anymore but I tell you there are thousands of Christians. Uh, that's what the Bible told Elijah. When Elijah was misbehaving and he was praying to God and saying God there is no prophet in Ghana, there is no prophet in the world the Lord said shut up because I have thousands of legs that are kneeling down to me every day so you can say that everybody is hardship there are some who have money am i talking to somebody uh, you can say that your family is poor there are some god of blues uh, so even when sodom and gomorrah were not of god god still have abraham that you still have a relationship with abraham and he can still talk to abraham and the bible says god said how oh, how will i do something without not telling my friend abraham when Sodom was suffering. Somebody too was having a communication with God. So think about yourself. Uh, don't think about me. The fact that you cannot pray does not mean I don't pray. The fact that you are not
not blessed does not mean I am not blessed. Uh, the fact that you cannot read the Bible does not mean I cannot read the Bible. Think about yourself because there are still people God had a relationship with them. Am I communicating to somebody? There are still prophets in town and there are still pastors in town. There are still people God has blessed and there are still people the devil is also blessed. Am I communicating to somebody here? Where is a gentleman? The Bible says, and, and Abraham had a visitation of three powerful angels that came to the house and then they came to the meeting and then they met Abraham and they said Abraham ah what are you doing God has sent us to go to a place but we want to have a communication with you we want to talk to you the Bible says and Abraham opened up and washed the feet of these strangers and the Bible says uh, and then, then God accepted them and God said okay I can hide from this man I gotta talk to this man I pray for someone here in the midst of your family God will choose you and then God will appoint you and God will speak to you when God does not speak to anybody God will speak to you I pray that when everybody's complaining you will come with a miracle you will come with a sign you will come with a glory am I communicating here come on help me to have some church here ah, very soon God is about I feel the anointing <laughs> something is about to happen here here now if you believe and lift up your hand and shout yes praise god hallelujah i'm so excited you have been watching powers on tv this morning wow the word of god is coming in the power of god now you understand the word of god that i've been released to you when you leave don't come back don't look back in life the word has come in power the anointing of God has been released. The prophetic is right now to your house right now, wherever you are. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone that is watching me right now, I pray for the release of glory. I pray for healing. I pray for restoration. I pray for the miracle to be released upon your daughters and sons right now. Let there be a testimony for us. Let us break through in Jesus' mighty name. I call it done. God bless you for watching Powers on TV with your man Bishop Sam Ozu. I'll be right back again to be with you. God bless you for watching Powers on TV. We'll take you to the prophetic power, the prophetic time. God bless you. Somebody say, God handle the devil. I want to handle poverty. Go handle the witches. I want to handle sickness in my house. No more disappointment. No more poverty. In the next 20 years, the generation ahead of me, all the children coming, I shall live in heaven. The Bible says the righteous man live out an inheritance for his children. children. God is on your side. Save us on your side. Glory is on your side. Power is on your side. Joy is on your side. We don't serve a king. We serve a living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And the same forever. So much of fire. Fire. We be may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. What the Lord has prepared for you, I has not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered to the heart. The thing that God has prepared for them that love Him, but He has revealed them unto us by the Spirit. For the Spirit sets in all things, near the deep things of God. How can we understand the things of the Spirit? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. There was nothing that was made without the word. And everything that was made was made by the word. The word is the life. The life is the light. The light shines in darkness. And there was not comprehended. Darkness cannot comprehend it. There was a man sent from heaven. His name is called John. To be a witness to the light. He was not the light. But he is the light. But to them that believe, he gave them power to become. God, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
no one comes to the father except by me i am the tree of life i am the drum of joy the leaders of the valley i am the apple of your eye i will save you i'll protect you when you go to fire i shall be with you no weapon thrown against you shall prosper every word that shall rise against you shall be condemned i am the same yesterday the same today and the same forever you are coming and as an agent of god you are coming and as a messenger of god to change the society to change our families to change the nation to change the revelation I prophesy God will help you. Yes. I will help you. Yes. No weapon yes. form against you. Yes. So prosper. Yes. When God yes. set you up, yes. no man yes. can set you down. Yes. When God yes. bless you, yes. no man yes. can kill you. Ideas are the fuel of life. Grace is the oil for the move. Men cause the motion. Champion Waste Chapel presents International Oil to Prosper Conference 2013 from Monday the 22nd to Sunday the 28th of July with great apostolic and prophetic agents of God. Dr. Isaac Quay, Word of Life Church, Bishop James Sa, Action Chapel, Reverend Steve Mensah, Sam, Bishop Salifu Amwaku, Alive Chapel, Dr. Sam Okbe, Nigeria, Dr. Bernard Taylor, Denmark and your host Dr. Sam Owusu, the senior pastor of Champion Ways Chapel International. You are coming and as an agent of God. You are coming and as a messenger of God. To change the society. Time is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. Venue Champion Ways premises behind Atala Limited, Achimoto School Hospital Road. Don't forget it is your time to be anointed as a king. This is the oil to prosper. Hello my friend, I'm so excited you'll be watching the Power Zone TV with Bishop Sam Oso of Champion Ways Chapel. We are just located at Achimoto School Hospital Johnson. I'm so excited to have you every morning, every day. Watch, keep watching every day and your life will never be the same. You can worship with us this Sunday. This Sunday, Kwesiada we are. Kwesiada we 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. It's our power service. Every Sunday is our power service. The word of God comes with power and with demonstration. You will not be the same as I see you because when I see you, I prophesy. The word of God comes with power and its authority, and it brings healing and miracles to your life. We see that be every Sunday, 8 o'clock to 11. It's a super service. And today, today, Thursday, and I want to a counseling. I sit down one on and pray with people and hear your story and I tell you what God wants for you. And forget about it. Don't look back. God is about to do something great for you. The person of our phone and from is here. For phone, number in the good screen is here. Frame it. Do a chimota school. I'm a hospital bus stop. We'll see and I'll drive it. When you get there, you ask of champion ways. We are just behind Atala building. We are just behind Atala building. You get there, you ask of champion ways. Everybody will bring you. Just today, and then me here counseling. A trial Friday is counseling. Then Sunday, we'll meet at church service. We'll every Wednesday, be here. It's a prophetic service. Every Wednesday is our prophetic service that comes on with the prophetic anointing of God to heal many souls and change many destinies. Monday, be as we have business time. Monday, be a mom your business. One more person on your business. One person on your job. One more person on protection. And we'll start teaching revelation ideas. And one more person on your job. Monday, 5 o'clock. Mondays be at 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. I have business time. Nigeria, all the few Nigerians that are watching me, I want especially, we have a special program for Nigerians that comes on every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Every Tuesday, 5 p.m. It's a Nigerian prayer time. So all of you, my friend, Nigerians, whatever you are in Accra, in Ghana here, I want to specially invite you to be part of the Nigerian prayer time every Tuesday, every Tuesday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's just two hours prayer for the Nigerians, our neighboring country, our neighboring friends. I want to especially invite you. Now, we are the Wednesday. It's our prophetic service. And Sundays, it's our super service Sunday. God bless you for coming, being part of Champion Way Chapel. Your life will never, ever be the same. Call me right now. For phone the friend, take your phone and give me a call right now, and I'll pray with you. I'm expecting over 500 people that will call me right now. I'm waiting till 
two o'clock today. Yet snassy from an upper eight o'clock. I could be at two o'clock. Maybe I will be a match. Masha when you know capra and will be a shit. We want to see we help you. But we want to be be a miracle. We want God to use us for your life. Until you are best, we are not free. So we want to specially invite you today, Thursday, every Thursday by ten o'clock to two o'clock. It's about it's about counseling time. I sit down to counsel you and to speak to you and also to bless you. Every Friday be until ne and china. Today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday, I sit down one on one with you and I pray with you. So, as you are watching right now, the office is open. The numbers are on the screen. My numbers are on the screen. This is here 0244 709155. 0244 709155 or 0246 721283. 0246 721283. You can call me right now. I'm sorry, I'm a champion. I'm sorry, Achimota Hospital, no. I'm a hospital bar stop. Who sipe? Now, Obusa is a champion. I'm sorry, Obi Adebaba. And I say Obusa Atala building next year. I'm sorry if I'm a champion ways now. Obi Adebaba, give me a call. Call me right now. You come to Achimota Secondary School. You ask of Atala building behind the Atala building, Champion Way Chapel. We are just located there. Every Wednesday is a prophetic time. Every Monday we are there. Five o'clock to seven o'clock. It's a business prayer time. Every Tuesday is a for. Nigerians, Nigerians, all of you, my friends and brothers and sons from Nigeria, we meet together and pray for God's intervention in this country. And then every Wednesday is a prophetic time. Every Thursday and Friday is also our counseling time. I sit down with you one and one. And now I'm not pay. I'm sitting down by 10 o'clock. So wherever you are, I want to specially invite you to come so that we will sit down. Today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday, we sit down to be a blessing to you. And some of you that God of course some of you that you have a dream and you have aspiration to be in ministry we have a bible school the champions ministerial bible college champions ministerial bible college is all about discovering your gift if you want to be part of this school me part of school free teaching you free Registration is free. I am assuming me and Sape. There be our baby and I'll be choosing. Oh, but that will pay and I'll be choosing. I'll be about school. No, this is awesome. This is wonderful. We want to specially invite you to the Champions Ministerial Bible College, the School of the Prophet and the School of Impartation. It comes on every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Too bad they open and I'll be choosing. Tuition is free. Registration is free. Even the forms are free. God bless you for watching Powers on TV. I will be able to same time, same station. God bless you as you watch. And same man, same word of God. Bye bye. When you are under cost line, whatsoever you do, prosper. Champion Ways Chapel presents Power Zone TV with Dr. Sam Owusu, the presiding bishop of Champion Ways Ministries. I'm the president of Covenant Mission Bible College, which has trained over 7,000 pastors and prophets. Dr. Sam Ousu is an uncompromising prophetic and apostolic Holy Ghost revival preacher. As you watch this program, you will experience the supernatural revelations, insights to recharge your spirit for revolution. Keep watching same station, same time, this and every 5.30 a.m. with Dr. Sam Ousu. Experience the power, the fire, the glory. Change is coming. Telephone 246 721 that number again is 0246 721283. Champion Ways is always a life changing experience.